Hey guys, welcome back. And this is a updated video on what I've done previously. Um, they've just slightly changed the process. Uh, so if you've got a hacked account or you're trying to recover an account, then just follow these steps. And I've got a few tips at the end that'll try and help you get where you wanna be. And that is to get your account back. So first of all, you wanna to navigate to this URL. I will leave that in the description below along with uh, links to a few other videos that might be of use to you. But uh, for now, that's what we're gonna focus on. A uh, quick note as well, if you have been uh, locked out for your 2FA, um, for whatever reason, you can um, still use these forms and the My Cases section and the support options. It does let you log in there even if you can't log into your account itself. So either you've been fully hacked or half hacked. And what I mean by that is uh, if you've been fully hacked, you can't gain access at all. But there are some that have been like, they've been hacked and banned, but they've still got access to the account. Now, if that happens, you still have to log this request to get a response. So let's uh, just dive into this. In this case, I'm already logged in. If not, you'll have to create a temporary account. And you can see here it's saying, um, that that's my email and then I want to log in so that's fine it says here it can take 24 hours to process and you'll be notified by email it does state here that you want to try and use the other support options feature if you have another issue they do have filters on the farm but I'll uh, I'll touch on that a bit later on okay so you have to follow these steps all the way to the finish to get a case number but um, so let's follow um, let's follow these steps so what would happen if you get to this form here? Um, it'll tell you what's linked. So you could have the hackers linked account, at your ID, and then it wants an email um, that was last used on your hacked account. So if they've changed it, then put it in there. The date was hacked, um, the games you were using, and any additional details. Um, I won't put too much in there around linking or unlinking because you might get an error saying that this is not the purpose of the form. Just try it, um, try it. If you get if it gets rejected, just try it again and put less details in. I've got some example templates down below uh, that I've linked to uh, that are free to download. So you want to select that and then select submit. I'm not going to do that because it's, it's my main account, but what you will get is a case number at the end if it's done successfully. Now make a note of that and it'd be useful to, to refer back to later. So after that, I would give it a few days and see if they come back to you. If you want to chase up the support request, then the other option is to go to the main support options tab. I'll link that down below as well. And you see you've got support options and you've got my cases. So I'll touch on this a bit later on. So you're armed now with your original case number and you want to chase it up. So either use one of these categories, you select a platform, doesn't really matter, because of cross-play. Just say you're missing, I mean, this is not a great example, but let's say that one, and you're missing some codes or content. So they used to have a COD points issue, but if not, try that. Try like a bundle or try different categories. And you can see here, I've got an open case, which is quite useful to show what happens. So you can check it in my cases, or you could submit a new ticket. You've got the case number there. So what I'm going to do is submit a new ticket just to demo this, because no one's responded to me anyway. Okay, so then let's just go back to demo how this would look. So you want that. And then you can see you've got a support ticket option here. I'm just going to type in that missing COD points. Don't put too much info in because if you mention unlinking and linking too much, it'll get rejected. Again, I mentioned those templates before. Just try and remove information until it submits. And there you go. That, that's what you'd get for the Activision hacked account recovery. And you'll get this here as well. And now you could go to my cases and you can see it's there. So the next step is to wait for them to reply. This could take a day or less. Uh, at the moment, they've been quite slow, so I'm not sure what's going on. But once you get a reply, you'll have an option in here to enter some details. Just say, oh, sorry, I, I, my cop points are back now. I didn't mean that, uh, but could you help me 
recover my hacked account. This is the case number, blah, blah, blah. They should then help you from that point on because you've got through the filters. Now this should work for any sort of issue. Um, that's the example of how to get an um, account recovered if it's been hacked. Feel free to join the Discord, that's the links down below. Let's join the community there, it's quite helpful. But basically, people uh, have told me that when they've accounts have been recovered, they have moved it to a new account, so it's not banned. So if you're like half, like you still got access, but you're banned, doing this recovery request can get you unbanned or move your progress to another account. So it's worth doing that, especially if you, if you have been hacked. There is a video on um, that down below. I'll link a load of videos that I think might be useful for you about like appealing that and 2FA issues, which I've had as well. So. I hope that helps you guys. Feel free to leave a comment down below or join the Discord. There is a link down below to that. Um, also follow me on Twitch because I do a weekly AMA so you can ask me anything. I'll be live for about an hour or two. Yes, make sure you subscribe because I'll be doing updates as we go. And uh, with Warzone 2 coming out shortly, um, hopefully this helps you guys out.